to relate it, it's more like have you if you have seen X Files, the series X Files, it's in that kind of mood and feeling. But of course, not that. I'm just telling you somewhere closely related to it. Uh, it has its own way of uh, genre. It's a psychological thriller. All that is a part, but uh, the way it is made, like my friend Faiz, uh, he's the cinematographer of Thousand Babies, and he had a tough work. Like all what he spoke was really true. Because now only I'm thinking about it, because all the tough terrains and the climate conditions, everything, plus keeping the continuity, the mood of the film, the mood of the film, all that was a big challenge for every for him, for us all. things and uh, expectations of this movie uh, see uh, me in this experience of my career uh, story is something that we all look for all actors listen to the story first and then we say yes or no and for me being a web series more than everybody sitting here or, or the director or the producer i was more worried because i am taking a huge step from a bigger screen to a smaller screen and how will this react and affect my career in the future or how but i know today is the future of me uh, digital world and and this is the future and uh, so when i am doing one what will be the quality of it uh, how will people look at it so i and my director spoke a lot i said it should be internationally you know will it be viewed so but hearing the story itself is an intriguing story it's an international story subject and then the making is another part so of course there's a fantastic writer aroz irfan and najim koya were the writers so they had a beautiful writing uh, you know on the script because i believe in writing more than acting if my writing is good then naturally you uh, you become a better actor and then uh, the magic uh, uh, magic moments from the cinematographer where the director's vision was beautifully narrated through his lenses uh, because i saw it yesterday on a big screen and i was totally amazed because i've never seen something so good even in a bigger movies also uh, bigger spent movies so it was fantastic and of course it's a going to be a treat like I, like we say it's a psychological crime thriller people from any part of the country any part of the world can relate to it uh, even if it's a it's, it's a tamilian watching or a, or a marathi person watching or a punjabi or a bengali whoever watches it they'll relate to it or language barrier to hai nahi isme because the subject is very universal universal matlab universally unfamiliar universally unfamiliar and wo you know there are certain elements that you will you, have, you you wouldn't have heard of it before so everyone will relate to it everyone will enjoy it and uh, this is made for everyone and that's what the response that we have got from yeah even the, from hot star side uh they planned it. this was this, this is supposed to be a kerala kerala content regional content so regional content is treated a little different so it it is not presented in the in the national market or beyond that particular region lekin when it came to this we heard that i mean like even even hotstar the, uh, the, the north one north one or the main hotstar pan indian one they wanted this to be a national national series so that's the first award that we got that's the first recognition that we got because it was a regional content and they wanted it to be portrayed as or to be presented to the national uh, audience so and it is being dubbed in other languages and because nina ji is there and even presenting it in uh, in hindi languages is not very difficult and the star cast i mean coming from i i mainly do malayalam films raman sir is familiar across south he's familiar in every language telugu tamil malayalam uh, he's a star everywhere and again when nina ji coming the north part is taken care of you but that came very organically it did, it wasn't planned or anything that that there was very organic so yeah everyone would love it and enjoy it regarding uh, safety of women i think it's it's not a concern just in film industry it's a concern all over the country or all over the world for that matter if you ask me i don't think any any place is safe uh, we have the safety issues everywhere you know be it uh, be it a school be it at a railway station be it a hospital anywhere any public place or wherever they are not taken care of Uh, they are not protected they have this issue they face this issue but in malayalam industry this thing came up and uh, many women fought for it 
they they wanted the study to be done they wanted this investigation to be done a report to be made on it and that was a brave act from the uh, women that we have in our industry and we are, we are very proud of it and uh, and they should get justice uh, you know uh, those those whoever uh, whoever face such kind of atrocities uh, should get their justice and also you can't blame a particular industry for that you know if you if i ask you uh, be it in media or be it in other industry the same thing happens many these things happens everywhere but people pinpoint on a film industry and now many people say that it has happened in uh, malayalam film industry samad bolu here so this happened everywhere there are women uh, you know who has been working in the industry for the last 20 25 30 years yeah and some people they manage it the people some people they handle it even uh, the other day we, we were talking to this i mean previous interview we were talking to neena ji and she was she had some uh, similar experiences and she handled it she handled it because and even if it ask if you ask men they also have these kind of many kind of such kind of issues but we have to handle it some people they cannot handle it so they need help they need to be supported so you can't blame this industry for uh, that matter my opinions on that is also the same as mr sanjuzis uh I, i appreciate the women come forward in this generation being taking bold steps though they want to make it big in the industry but they come out with this um this kind of me too movement and uh, all that i deeply appreciate that the boldness that they've taken and i wish they get justice at the same time the people who are at the wrong should be punished all that i accept but i hope uh, this won't they won't make it as a mockery out of it uh, i hope the government realizes this my only concern and worries are it is only blaming one particular industry and i feel sad for it so it shouldn't be that way it should not be biased uh, because this happens in all, everywhere uh, not only in the industry everywhere uh, women safety is been is a real thing to be asked because i think more than the industry it is even in the local train stations trains buses wherever you go we've heard a lot of rape cases in the channels what has happened in delhi and in north india and all that so you know all this where is the safety for women if you ask that it's not only in the film industry it is everywhere so that the government has to take some measures and do it for the whole safety of women in india it's not only just by uh preaching and talking on stages and you know there's nothing there uh, at the law enforcement you also you have to have a lot of uh, ladies recruited uh, you know for a lady to go give a complaint rarely there is nothing much you know done in that so i think if those everything is you know corrected slowly slowly i think we will have even women everyone walking safety because in some states of india i don't want to name any women cannot walk especially in the north women cannot walk after 12 o'clock or something like that even on the beach and all that stuff it's becoming that uh, bad so safety is a questionable thing for women everywhere so i hope the government takes a proper and the right decision and uh, the law enforcement must uh, also take a deep measures to do all that you know for the safety and also recently if you ask me uh, a certain unfortunate case happened in a hospital uh, in, in in a state in a state where it, yeah. it was supposed to be the most safest place in india i used to live there I, uh, my my mother was there my sister was there my sister lived there my mother lived there for 40 plus years and my sister lived her entire childhood there and that was supposed to be the most safest state i i love that place but you know this unfortunate incident happened in in this century and uh, you know uh, that's very unfortunate that happened in a hospital where where there is enough security enough you know uh, enough people to take care of things and uh, just imagine so in that case i i will i will still say cinema is much better we we you know we we handle it in much better way in a democratic way more you know it 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 will give questions uh, people will start asking questions uh, people will start having doubts on certain things uh, this will change uh, the series if you watch the series uh, it will change your perspective on certain things you know hum ye wo aise hi lete hain matlab we straight away consume it yeah this is supposed to be we what we get and we we just consume it i mean we are happy about it but from now on if you after watching this Uh, you will start having a uh, one small doubt like uh, about you know what has happened or uh, such kind of questions will come up and there is no s- such message as such uh, yeah 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 
Uh, if you ask me if there is a moral message, um, sorry, uh, there is a moral message. There is a message uh, after watching it will create a lot of awareness. Uh, due to that, uh, many people will, you know, take it serious on their work, on their profession and clear out many uh, things, you know. So, there is an awareness. It's not that uh, it is a fantasy-driven subject or a fiction-driven. It is not. It is fighting with reality of life. And as things are growing, we are seeing so many things. Now, the invasion of AI, all those kind of things have come, right? So, it is imposing, somebody can impose to your voice or impose to your face and do many things. In that way, in reality of life, that what we are trying to implement here is also create awareness. Uh, in the future, it should not happen and have an, you know, an eye on everything. Uh, so, I cannot reveal when you only, you know, maybe we can talk no, no, what maybe is the... Characters don't yeah. have any good messages. That's the reason why So, there is uh, a lot in it. It's not just uh, uh, running around the bush or anything like that. So, Thousand Babies is a serious uh, drama. And uh, I'm sure if people watch the first episode itself, uh, they will all love it. Uh, we are not uh, we are not mimicking anything. We are not uh, fantasizing anything about how it is. But uh, it's a serious one.